namaste welcome to all today we will find cube roots by using the binomial expansion of rational indexes okay this is how we can manipulate means uh, you can write it as 125 plus 1 no 125 plus 1 whole power 1 by 3 okay uh, cube root means whole power 1 by 3 you can write and here 1 plus x means we know the binomial expansion so to convert in that form what we'll do now i'll take 125 common so 125 along with one that index it will come outside so brackets what will be having 1 plus 125 take i took common so 1 plus 1 upon 25 whole power 1 by 3 now here having binomial expansion which is in the form of 1 plus x whole power n this uh, n is in n is a rational one we know its expansion see 125 whole power 1 by 3 this 125 is pi cube whole power 1 by 3 one power of power property you can use that will become 5 here expansion you can you have to write 1 plus x whole power n means first term will be 1 second term n into x that is 1 by 3 into 1 upon 125 uh, next third term will be numerator n into n minus 1 that is 1 by 3 minus 1 whole divided by 2 factorial that is 2 into 1 you can write into x square here x place this is n is x place you are having 1 by 25 x square means 1 by 25 whole square you have to write similarly you will get the other terms okay this is a 5 now 1 plus let me move my screen this 125 you have to multiply with 3 you see what you are going to get 15 7 375 you will get here you need to do some simplification 1 by 2 you write outside this is 1 by 3 1 by 3 minus 1 means 3 if you send that side 1 minus 3 minus 2 by 3 see it is so and more 125 whole square means you use the shortcut 5 is there means last digit will be 25 and here 12 into 13 you have to multiply 12 into 13 is 156 okay 1 by 1 15,625 it is this is our third term plus so on okay now 5 times okay you can uh, what we can do no you can uh, write the decimal form or here you can simplify if you want to 2 2 you can cancel okay remaining terms if you multiply what you are going to get this is next step decimal form will right minus 1 by this 15625 we have to multiply with 9 uh, we'll get uh, 1 lakh 40625 okay now what we can do we will write the decimal form see mm, decimal form if you write it will be equal to 0 0.002666 like that it will come okay you can write how many decimal places you want that many decimal places you can write okay recurring decimal it is minus this if you do what you will get this if you do if you you will get 0 point you can use calculator 1 2 3 4 5 7 1 it came okay still it will be there here see 1 and you can add those things 0 0 2 6 6 6 you can last digit if you want you can write 7 also okay and here you have to reduce 0 point 0 0 0 0 7 1 we have to reduce to reduce how much you will get 5 this is 9 this will become 5 6 2 0 0 so this 
phi times it is and this value is one point binomial expansion value zero zero two six five nine five so on if you multiply this then you will get the value of cube root of 126c what is that we'll see if you multiply you will get the value of 5.0132975 if you want you can round off to four decimal places so cube root of 126 is nothing but 5.0133 okay like that we can write okay one more thing cube root of 126 suppose if you are having in denominator if you want to find cube root one more example i am taking 1 by cube root of 998 or some value if you want to find then how will you do we'll check that you have to write in binomial expansion form what we can write 1000 minus 2 you can write 998 Next whole power one by three, no. Uh, whole power one by three, you can write instead of cube root. That thousand you have to take common in another step. Thousand cube root of thousand you can take common. Next here what will be there? One minus two by thousand. See, two by thousand whole power one by three you can write or cube root of this you can write. So cube root of thousand means ten thousand. You can write ten cube. Cube and cube root will get cancelled. One by ten will come. And here one binomial expansion that you can take to numerator if you want. One minus two by thousand means ten cube. We can write. So if you take to numerator, that index will change. You know, it will become minus one by three. This is the for this. This is binomial expansion. One minus x whole power minus n form. It is there. Then you know how to expand that. This one by ten will write aside. Next to see, the first term will be one. Second term n x n is what here minus one by p. X is two by ten cube. If both are minus means here plus will comes. Okay, plus. Okay, n into x you wrote. Next term, see how we will get means n into n plus one c. One by three plus one. There it is different. One plus x whole power n. Here one minus x whole power minus n. Two factorial that is two into one, and that two x is here n is minus one by three, and x is two by ten power three. Whole x square you have to write here. This is the binomial expansion of rational index. One by ten. We still we can simplify further. It is one. This is nothing but two by three. You can write one by ten cube. Plus here you do manipulation. One by two you write aside. One by three it is one by three plus one. That is four by three. Into this whole square means each and everything will get no two square means four, ten power three whole square means power of power property use ten power six it will become so on. Okay, now we can write in decimal form. Okay, so that you can find cube root of one by cube root of nine ninety eight. We are finding see one by ten. So one plus here we are learning binomial expansions also cube root also we are fine two by three you can write see this ten also you can take inside no one by ten so we'll do one thing so first term will become one by ten second term two by three into uh, this one by ten we are taking inside so it will become ten power four here anything will get cancelled you see. Okay, two one zero two two zero. So numerator eight is there. Denominator three into three nine into one by ten power six. So that one by ten we are taking inside. So ten power seven it is plus one. So then how we will write the decimal expansion, decimal form? 
zero point one it is plus two by three means what you will get zero point six six like that that you will get that you are dividing with one by ten thousand that means four decimal places four zeros you write one two three four six 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 will come okay six 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 like that you can write eight by nine means uh, it is zero point uh, eight it is and you are dividing with ten power seven. 10 power 7 means 7 zeros you can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 days, 7. How many zeros are there? That many decimal places will come. And here 8, 8, like that, it will come. Now we add these things. What you will get? Okay. Uh, 0. Point, you have to add from here. No? 8, 8. Okay. Uh, eight, no, 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 sir. We have to add, no? Mm. Eight, 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 six. If you add, it is fourteen. One is carry forward. Eight, six. If you add, fourteen plus one, five, fifteen. One is carry forwarded. Here zero is there. For six, if you add one, six, seven, six, six, zero, 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 zero. Ah, uh, no. Here one is there. No, that one will come into tenth decimal place. So this is the value. Okay. So if you want to find approximate value up to four decimal places like this means, what we can do means uh, one by uh, cube root of 998 value we are finding, one by cube root of 998. Up to four decimal places if you want to find means that is 0 0.10066 is that a one. Okay, like that you can find cube root using binomial expansion of ra rational index. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.